Okay, so now we're going to take a look at the venous drainage of the abdominal organs. So the blood doesn't return to the inferior vena cava and then into the right side of the heart. It actually passes through the liver, through the portal system. So you've got this deoxygenated nutrient-rich blood which passes through the portal system into a second vascular bed inside the liver. And then the liver has hepatic veins which drain into the inferior vena cava. So the venous drainage of the gut is through the portal system. So I'll just show you the hepatic portal vein, which is the final common pathway for the, um, the blood of the gut. So you can see, see all the veins in blue here, um, which are draining the gut, and they drain into this one portal vein here. So you can see this, um, this common pathway for this blood. So this is the portal vein. So the portal vein splits into these two branches, it's got a right and a left branch, which um, passes into the substance of the liver, and this drains into sinusoids, and the sinusoids drain into the hepatic veins, so you can see these two veins up here, and these drain into the inferior vena cava, just before it passes, just before the inferior, inferior vena cava um, perforates the diaphragm. So I've just brought the diaphragm in for reference, so you can see the hepatic veins draining into the inferior vena cava just before the uh, IVC passes through the diaphragm. So the important thing to know here is that you've got this venous blood draining the abdominal organs and it drains into this hepatic portal vein which passes through a second uh, capillary or vascular bed in the liver and then the liver drains via hepatic veins into the inferior vena cava. So the blood doesn't just drain straight into the IVC, it passes through this portal system, which passes through the liver. So there are a few main tributaries which lead to the portal vein. So you can see this branch coming off here, which drains into the portal vein, and this is the splenic vein. So I just want to orientate you a bit with regard to the other structures in this area. So if I just bring in the other viscera, you can see um, see where this splenic vein lies and the hepatic portal vein lie. So just fading away the stomach, um, you can see the pancreas underneath the stomach, and the splenic vein lies underneath the the pancreas. So if I just fade that away, you can see the the portal vein here and the splenic vein runs along the length of the pancreas on its posterior surface. So if I just zoom in a little bit you can see, I'll just fade it in a little bit more, you can see the um, the bile duct in front of the portal vein. So that was just to give you a, a sort of idea of um, the relationship of these structures. So the splenic vein and this vessel here which is the superior mesenteric vein meet and form the hepatic portal vein. So the splenic vein receives various different tributaries. So you can see there are a lot of different um, branches coming off the splenic vein, but the big one here draining into the splenic vein is the inferior mesenteric vein. And then you've got other smaller uh, branches which come from the stomach and the pancreas and that sort of thing. So the superior mesenteric vein just runs alongside the superior mesenteric artery, which you're aware of now. Um, so it just runs to the right of it, and it drains blood from the small intestine, the cecum, ascending colon, and transverse colon. So the inferior mesenteric vein drains blood from the sort of splenic flexure area, the descending colon, um, the sigmoid colon, and the rectum. So the take-home message is that venous drainage goes through the portal system, through the liver, and then into the systemic circulation. And the portal vein receives branches from the splenic vein and the superior mesenteric vein, and it's got some other smaller tributaries which I'll talk about. And then the splenic vein receives the inferior mesenteric vein. So that's a, a little introduction to the blood supply to the abdominal viscera.